was a nice sleep. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. Today's video, we'll be making this flyer. It's bare bones, and there's only like uh, four. There's a few blocks, like very few, that aren't necessary in this entire build. The rest of them are, and you've got full full ability on it. You've got the turn to the side. So if you get like that, and you have the running forward, and this these can all be adjusted. bare bone into the exact things you will need to make this very compact fire. And if you want to pop a chest on the front, you can even do that. I don't have it here, so I'm not going to be doing that, but you are completely able to do so. Now let's get to building. Now whilst building this one, I, I started with the front, and that's these two. I won't be removing these parts, but all the parts are actually listed here as how many there, there is. So there's five thrusters, there's nine bearings, there are four blocks in the entirety of this thing, which are these four. And you can even use pipe pieces for it. So you don't even need the blocks. Let's get started by firstly placing our, um, en uh, our engine container things that hold the fuel, fuel and the battery, that's what's good. Now we're going to be working on one of them, but we need them on its, th on its side. To do that we're just going to put, put a block down, a block down here, we're just going to weld that, and then you don't need to do it for this one because we're going to weld that straight. Now, we're going to do it here, that's fine, we're going to put one here and one here, we're going to put a little piston on this bear, on this uh, pipe piece here, followed with another pipe piece, make sure that it's on the left of this, and then you're going to want to put a small bearing, uh, a small suspension piece, followed by this, which is going to weld both of these together, now we let this go. This is going to act as a suspension glitch for the front and backwards, like the flipping. So if I go to the engine that controls of these two, if I turn that bad boy up, you'll see that it controls, it controls the back and forth. This is going to be this side of the vehicle, so we're building the inside of it so far. So it'll be more accurate to have this thing flyer facing that way. Because this is the direction we're currently facing it. Um, but the only problem you'll see with this is that now we can't attach this onto this. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to remove this. We're going to do the exact same thing. But we're going to use these T pieces instead, except the one in the corner here. You don't actually have to place that one yet. Um, now this one is fine. We're going to place that, and then we're going to place this down again. We're going to place two bearings here, and you'll notice if I try and grab this in the right direction, it won't actually weld to this point up here. However, if I was to grab the battery container and just 
swap it. You see, they will just keep going for them, and that's exactly what you want. Now these two are connected, we can get started on the main hole with it. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, this front part is actually used to make this adventure, which I'll show you how to do very quickly. Suspension, suspension glitches are actually really easy to make in survival game creators. This is all you've got to do. And then we do the exact same thing once more. Make sure you place the bearings. The bearings stop it from acting as a same source. both these bearings, hit it, that's perfect, and we're just going to grab that, place it the way facing this other bit, this other one, and we grab it, those two are going to be facing each other, and that allows us to attach them both together, get rid of all these, get rid of that bearing, and now this itself is not a suspension bridge. But the moment you place a block on the side, it will become one. So don't worry. So if I placed a block up here, it will become one. But instead, we're going to be placing a nice little block on those. Now on here, you see that I've placed one of those and then placed it. And it can go either way, really. I am going to do that again, because I like that kind of way. It also allows me to confirm that these two are completely because they were connected through the bearings and not each other now that it's going to be a much smoother build. Then we can just plug that on and we're starting to build a base. Now this is the front of it, as you can start, as you can start to see. So I'm going to go ahead and put two pipe pieces with two bearings. And then we're going to go ahead and chuck on some thrusters in this corner and in this corner. And they'll be rotated. As it comes to. Now for the engines, we're going to place an engine here, an engine here, and we're going to place down an engine on free fall. We're going to grab it and we're going to lob it to the um, front part because for some reason, if you have an electric engine and a gas engine, you can't put anything on the top on the top of a gas engine for this little weird thing, but you can on a electric engine, which is really weird. But we can over we can overcome that by doing that. Now we're gonna put down two controllers facing this way so we can access it from the bottom. And then I believe Yes, we put another electric engine. I built that yesterday, so I forgot uh, a little bit of it. And then we're gonna put down that another electric engine now the gas engine isn't necessarily usable in any of this it's not used by anything it's just taking up space and if you do want to have any kind of gas engine needing thing it's there for you to use uh, but there wasn't really nothing else other than like a radio or something to put in that gap and you need the uh, controllers there so, for even spacing wise, that's what we're doing. Now, for the back, you're going to want to place the seat down first. I can take it off the so just keep it back. We've already got a little bit of a suspension glitch going on. Now, we're going to now we're going to go ahead and have a look at this because that is really close to this so it's, it is genuinely really competitive now we're going to place down two thrusters on the bottom side of this and we're going to go ahead and close a gap like this Piece and we're going to put another bearing, bearing 
with a, another thruster. Now we're going to connect all these bearings, these loose ones, up to this front controller. I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. I'm going to go ahead and just delete and grab. And then we're going to set this to 45 degree angles on all of them. Find out which ones aren't turning the right way. This one isn't turning the right way. That one isn't turning the right way. But now it will. So the moment it drops, they will all be rotated in the right direction to make like a diamond pattern. Right, now we've got the main assembly done. If you were to see these side by side, they would all look, they look almost symmetrical. Or almost perfect. Um, the only difference is the front part and the buttons. So this is something you're going to have to pay close attention to. We're going to place four, we're going to just delete the seat, or we'll attach that back on and reset the thing in a second. I actually think that was connected. Okay, yeah, okay. So this was actually connected to the engine as well, because I remember that didn't happen. So we can actually just reconnect that already. And put that back into that. Give it another 45 degree angle. Make sure it's right there. Which is not. <coughs> now make sure this is in the left. You will place four pairings like this. Place another block. And then you want to grab your large suspension. And when you do this, make sure it's on the left. And it will weld all of them together, which gives you the, the rotating this side. So your. Um, roll and it will give you your uh, steering because this is a steering glitch and a roll glitch which I haven't seen a lot of people use for the roll but it's 100% doable um, now we're going to put down two on either side and these are purely cosmetic um, type pieces Maybe because I think it looked a bit too plain without them. Um, so I just pop them in there. You don't need them. The rest of it you do. Now we're going to go ahead and wab our seat back on there. And I'm pretty sure that's everything that needs to be on there is on there. Again, it's a very compact file. So if you want to just go back in time, replay the video at a lower speed. Have a little look at exactly, exactly how um, piece of it is built. Go ahead and do that because we're going to start hooking everything up, which can get a little bit messy, as you can see over there. Now, first thing, we're going to hook everything into the engines. Now, this gas engine will be for the thrusters. Now these need source of power. Now I'm using creative mode or unlimited mode to make creating stuff easier in uh, survival. You don't have to do that. Um, I'll leave the script below and I'll make a video at some point on how to change your script file so you can do it yourself. But for at the moment, we're just going to focus on this. Now, electric engine. Now, the difference between an electric engine, I'll do a little bit of um, explaining here. An electric engine and gas engine are different, and not just because they take different inputs. An electric engine, when you use this, it changes the power, the speed, of the, the thing it's connected to, the bearing it's connected to. A gas engine, however, it's one speed, it changes the acceleration, which means how fast it will get. So it will start off slow and get faster and faster and faster. Now an electric engine, straight off the bat, it's, uh, it's that fast. It's always going to be the same acceleration, but this is how fast it goes. This is how, how fast it will get. So this max and one, it will be the same speed, 
but it won't have the same amount of acceleration, meaning it will have less horsepower down here than it does up here. So that's that's why we're not using gas engines for the flip, for the um, pitch roll and the, uh, steering, because then it just gonna get really bad. It will it will start slow and then speed really, it'll speed up and it just it really doesn't help when making a fire. So as you can see, we've got the steering glitch all here. Works all lovely jubbly. Just the same as it works over here. Now we're going to go ahead and hook some of the other stuff up. So you first connect your um, self to all of the lovely engines. And then we're going to... Now I've got my button, my mouse, connected into the buttons. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, when it comes to 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, but I can't figure out how I did that. Because even on the controls, for me... I haven't actually got it. I, in fact, I've somehow managed to do this, and then Hotbar One and Two are completely different. So I've actually got um, these other ones as another set of WASDs on my keyboard, just in case it didn't work. So here we go. I've got these. Uh, obviously, Y and H don't do anything because they're not hooked up yet. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to hook up one, two, three, and four. In fact, three and, three and four will be different on there. So we're going to hook it up with the same on that one. Um, I believe one is the up and then two is the go. So that will go into all the thrusters pointing down. Now one, on t one and two are always the up and go. And all my flyers, that one that down there, that one down there, that one there, uh, always up and go. So up and go. Up, you can't see it, but up and go. Now we're going to give them a little bit of power. I believe it actually needed quite a lot of power to get up on this one. Yeah, they needed f four and then five, four and five. So we're going to go ahead and give it a four and five. No, yeah, there we go. It tilts a little forward. That is to be expected with something so heavy at the front and light at the back. I've tried to even it out as much as possible, but move, even moving that engine here, the forward bit, would completely put this off a bit more. So that gas engine, kind of needed. I think they are actually heavier. No, they're the same. Okay. Now, three, I do believe is to be rotated, yeah, right? So I'm gonna hook it into this engine and hook it into that. Now, you're gonna wanna rotate this one. Four will go into this one and then into this one. Now, what you'll notice is we're complete, we've completely neglected the forward and back. And that's what this one is for. You're gonna wanna hook it into one side and then the other side. Now, this will make us go forwards and backwards. Just as we want. Now, it's quite a weird mechanism because it's forcing itself to go forwards and back. If you want to make this even better, you, you'll want to block off this section here. And that is completely doable. I'll show you how you can do that. You can simply put three bolts like that. And that is all you need to do to make it even stronger. Now, it's an even stronger cycle because it, it now has something to bash against, which increases the, uh, pushy, uh, the pushiness. Instead of waiting for the uh, very friction the very corner of the pipe piece to hit this corner here yeah. the collision is really strange but it works so we're going to leave those three blocks in there even though they're not in that one but you don't need them same as you don't need these pipe pieces here now we've got all of them however we haven't taken these up into the engine so let's go ahead and do that now oh okay Alright, connect 
your take your uh, buttons into it. And you'll see that it tilts me slightly. Not because there's no power in the engines. So we're gonna give it a little bit of power. Same with the one down here. Now we should be able to launch forwards. And if I get into the air at least. Just like that. And you'll see that it's a very touchy flyer. And then when you get out here, it's pretty good. If you turn off the front, hold on. If you turn off if you turn up the go from off. It kind of works a bit better. So all these buttons are actually used to level yourself out of the Because it's a determined height. It, it, it's really difficult to try and figure out how to do that manually you know, automatically. So having something that, ju that just allows you to manually adjust your height really helps. Now, I, I always prefer the fire I've got down on the helipads, uh, but this is a fire that can get you from A to B. I don't know why this one has been so difficult. I don't know why this one has been so difficult. I, th I feel like the engines aren't the uh, right measurements. This one is my favourite flyer because it just works perfectly. It doesn't have roll or anything, but I don't think it needs it. It works flawlessly. And then this one is my second version, which does have roll and whatnot. And it's even smaller than that one. But it's not the smallest, it has a lot of unnecessary pipe pieces. And this one, well, it doesn't. This is bare boned exactly what you need. Um, to just start flying around. And I think that's really cool. Especially considering this is something possible in Scrap Mechanic, I find it a really interesting thing to just build. Now we've got two identical other than the three bucks underneath it in case you're like, saying about that. Um, to identical fires and I hope this video has helped someone understand a little bit more about the fires and how to make them in Scrap Mechanic and I hope you can create your own fires now because as long as you keep an equal weight distribution in mind so like how these are at four but there's two of them and this is at five and there's one of them you can understand how or why you'd need that kind of distribution of the thrust of power related to the weight. Whilst having eight to five may seem like a weird power complex, there's a lot more weight at the front, which means this needs a little bit more power, but having a little bit more power would also mean this needs a little bit more for the weight side. So as long as you keep that in mind, you'll completely understand how to make one. Having buttons helps with all the controls you'll need. And yeah, I hope you have learned something. If you haven't, then I'm sorry. But if you have, leave it down in the comments. If you can, if you understood, or if you had a favorite part of this, or anything helped you, I'm happy it did. If you want to leave a comment on how it helped you, or anything I, you would want me to clear, clear up on, for example, if you don't if you don't understand how this works here, just go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll do an entire video dedicated to showing you exactly how that works. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Go build for yourself, guys. Peace.